All right, y'all, we are going to bump start or bump the engine to get this bolt out of the harmonic balancer. We've tried multiple things, a regular half inch ratchet with a 19 millimeter <clears throat> socket, a 19 millimeter impact socket. We've tried a breaker bar. We've tried a cheater bar. We've tried an electric impact wrench half inch. We've tried an air half inch impact wrench. Nothing. She ain't moving. We're worried about if we continue with either the air or the electric impact wrench rounding off those shoulders. So we're going to bump start or bump the engine to try to get this uh, bolt out. Here's our setup. We have a half inch ratchet and that is 11 inches long. We have a 19 millimeter socket six point. Don't use a 12 point it can round off the shoulders of the bolt. The socket is an inch and a half long. What this allows us to do is put this ratchet, the handle of it, up against the body, right up here, of this car. We have various pieces of wood to make it nice and snug so that when the engine is bumped and goes clockwise, it'll loosen the bolt for us. But before you do this, you do your own research to have an understanding whether this will work on your car. This is like one of our last resorts that we have to get this bolt off. I just wedged various pieces of wood up against the body up here. Y'all see that? Just like that, along there, to make this ratchet nice and snug no moving. What we hope will happen is when we bump the engine that this will just fall away. We're not going to put it on the axle there. No good. Not a good plan. So here's what we've done to get ready for this and set this up. We have three tires on the ground. We've chalked every wheel. We have our tire under there in case something happens. We have three scissor jacks in place. Just one under the frame there. We've put the dog bone and the dog bone bracket back in place because it's going to bump that engine and put some torque on it. And we want that support for the engine. We put these two lines back together electrical, got this one out of the way, taped it back because we have our upper timing belt cover off and we don't want that hitting any of these pulleys or the belt. This is vitally important. Take your spark plug wires out and off of your spark plugs. This is a California car, so it has an additional wire that leads over here. Took that off and put it to the side. You have to have a fully charged battery to do this. So if you've been working on the car for some time, like we have, I had to charge the battery last night. And as you see, those wheels are chopped. We're leaving the alternator on, it's set aside. So what we're gonna do is just bump the engine Boop. and then start it let it go <clears throat> don't start it don't try to start it y'all bad idea we're just going to bump it like that and bring it back that should give enough torque for that harmonic balancer to spin clockwise while this stays in place in the lefty loosey position y'all right there lefty loosey and spin that bolt off for us okay y'all keep your eye on this what should happen is the harmonic bouncer rotates clockwise and this ratchet will either fall down or just fall off. Keep your eye on the ratchet and the harmonic bouncer. Do it. Do it. There we go. Certainly knock the wood down, huh? Look at that, y'all. It's loose. Yes. Nirvana has happened, y'all. Did y'all see that? Okay. You can even take it out by hand now. What I did is I ordered a brand new bolt from Toyota. Cost me, I think it's going to be like $11.27 because we rounded off those shoulders a bit, hitting it with the impact wrenches. Um, and I don't want to put a bad bolt 
back in like that. The wood worked well at wedging it and making this ratchet really tight. All right, y'all, here's the pieces of wood I used. I'm gonna bring them out so you can see them. That's about a quarter inch. I used this one, that's about a half inch. And I used this one, about yeah, three eighths. Then I used a little shim at the very bottom of these to make that ratchet really tight. You wanna do that so for two reasons, or we did it for two reasons. We wanted that ratchet to be really tight and square to that bolt. We didn't want any slack in it. Secondarily, you have this that the bolt goes in for the splash shield. Behind it is a raised area so you can put the bolt in. You, didn't want to you don't want to shear that off or bend that. So you get that ratchet as tight as you can back to that bolt. Okay, y'all, that's how we got our bolt out of the harmonic balancer on a 1995 Toyota Camry. We hope it helps. And happy DIYing.